Hi, it's Sandy from The Yarn Shelf, and I'm going to show you how to do an invisible join. Some people call it an invisible finish, and it's a great way to end off your project so that it looks seamless and professional um, and doesn't have that slip stitch ending where you can kind of tell the, where you stopped at. So what we're going to do is finish off the last of the round, which in this case is a double crochet, and then we're going to cut our yarn, cut our working yarn, and then just pull it straight through. Just pull it right out. Now you go ahead and thread your yarn needle. And now we're going to find the first chain two of this round is right here. And that's what I would normally slip stitch into. But I'm going to skip that and go on to the next stitch. So here's the top of my double crochet, which is the second stitch here. And you can see the V. And we're going to go from the front to the back, right underneath that V. Now we're going to go and find the last stitch that we did before we pulled our yarn through. It's right here. You can see the V right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the back loop only. Back loop only, from front to back, and we're going to pull it through. Now we're going to tighten it just enough so that the V that we've just created looks like all the surrounding V's. So you can see how it ends off so much nicer than just doing a slip stitch ending. Alright, and the reason why we skipped the first stitch, that chain two, is you can see that the V that we just made by going underneath this one and then going through there has made its own V, which is right over the top of the stitch that we skipped making it look like all the other stitches around it. That is an invisible join.